Welcome back to another reaction video, everybody. Today we'll be reacting to Real Ghost Caught on Camera Top 5 Scary Video Ghost Videos 2018 by Nukes Top 5. So, without further ado, everybody. Oh, wait, before I say this, um, go check out my friend, uh, Exploring with Jace. Uh, he's a big scary cat when it comes to, uh, going into abandoned places because me and him go places and he thinks I'm always one scared but he's the one getting scared all the time you know what I'm saying um, big scared cat I, I never get scared never no no proof no evidence of me ever getting scared except for that one video never mind I don't get scared are you sure about that okay maybe a bit. go check him out he's got a really got a really good channel T -t -t today junior um yeah so let's get into this video right now and we're gonna put this microphone down right quick. May hear a boom, 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 boom. All righty, everybody. Three, two, one, and go. Top five ghosts called on camera. Seance witch. Paranormal investigator Brad Mack and his team were investigating a place called the Cage in a little town called Saint Joseph in England. The town and the site has a dark history. Starting in the year 1582, this building was used as a prison, but not just any prison. The jail was used to confine and execute women convicted of witchcraft. Brian Max. So is that like the British version of the Salem witch trials kind of thing? or? Says that during his paranormal investigation, his team heard strange footsteps and whispers. They saw lights flicker for no reason, and they even felt something bite or pinch them on several occasions. One member. I'll tell you right now, man. Hold on. I'll tell you right now. If I'm in an abandoned building and some bites me or scratches me or pinches me, I'm running out that building very fast. Like I'm running out that building yesterday. Just saying. So, Jason, on the other hand, exploring with Jason, go check his channel out. He'll probably stay in there and be like, oh, hey, 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 you're funny, you're running away. Anyways. A member of their team named Vanessa was so shaken that she absolutely refused to stay in the building after dark. But the most bizarre incident was yet to come. Late that night, the group decided to perform a seance to contact the ghost of the convicted women who had died there. As Brian Mack watched and recorded from another room, he saw something very strange happen to a woman in the group. Face has completely changed, doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. Face has completely changed, doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. One seance member's face actually begins to change and contort into something that can only be described as horrific. Her nose seems to grow and her mouth stretches into a bizarre inhuman grin right in front of their camera. That thing is looking at the camera. That thing knows what they're doing. Uh, no, I'm out. I'm out that mug. <laughs> Heck no. Fearing for the woman's safety call down and remove her from the group. After the seance, the woman has a strange burn mark down the back of her neck, even though she had been dressed in several layers of clothing. She later said that after the incident, she experienced horrible nightmares and bizarre occurrences around her home. So was this some supernatural possession by a ghost caught on camera, or just a bizarre trick of the light? Let me know what you think down in the comments. The Vickers Hill Ghost The city of Armagh in Northern Ireland has a grim and ghostly past. The city is one of the oldest in Ireland and is believed to have been an ancient pagan ceremonial spot. The site of Vickers Hill in Armagh is said to be one of the most haunted areas of the city, home to the infamous Green Lady Ghost. In this clip, a woman driving her car on Vickers Hill doesn't see the green lady, but does catch a strange supernatural encounter all her own.
the man in the video seems to walk across the road and disappear right into a wall that surrounds the Church of Ireland Cathedral. He seems to be dressed in Georgian fashion, a style of Hey, he's from Georgia, man. What? Why? Hey, why? Why is he from Georgia? Why is a Georgian in Ireland? Clothing that hasn't been worn in the city That's crazy for over though, 200 man. years. Singapore Highway Ghost. Oddly enough, this next video was posted to the Singapore Road Safety site, roads.sg, a site which usually posts videos and information about Singapore traffic. The post shows someone driving on a busy Singapore highway late at night when they spot something very unexpected in the middle of the road. Was that thing that was saying on the median? The car caught the, the image of the girl in both its front and rear dash cams. The story was picked up by several online tabloid sites, and some viewers suggested that the girl seemed to be floating in the road. She wasn't floating. Now, to me, it actually looks like a girl balancing herself on the divider in the middle of a very dangerous highway, which is pretty bizarre either way. But what do you think? Is it just a dangerous balancing act? Or is it a ghost caught on camera? Let me know down in the comments. Bank Ghost Girl Workers at the Credit Bank BCP in Peru were hanging out after business hours having a chat as one of them tested out the camera on his new phone. Suddenly, he catches something very strange in the background of the video. Sí, pero lo que pasa es que esa era un mongol de Alonso, que media, media bestia es. Oye, 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 he tells his workmate that he just saw the shadowy figure of a little girl run behind him. His co-workers don't seem to believe him, so the man goes to check, but nothing there. Footage from a second bank security camera shows the bank's front door seeming to open. And then close, all on their own. Nope, I'm good. Secret swimmer. Kim Davison and her friend Jesse took their children swimming at Lockyer Creek in Queensland, Australia. At one point, Kim's daughter claimed that she felt something grabbing her leg, but her mom thought nothing of it, assuming the girl had just brushed up against a stick or some other piece of debris floating in the water. Later, Kim took a photo of herself, Jesse, and their three children splashing around in the creek. But when Kim looked back at her photo, she saw something that chilled her to the core. There appeared to be a fourth ghost child swimming right along beside them. After the strange photo was posted to Facebook, the story became even creepier. One viewer did a little digging and discovered that a young girl named Doreen O'Sullivan had drowned at that exact spot 100 years earlier. So is this just a strange reflection in the water? Or is this little Dorino Sullivan's ghost caught on camera? I uh, nope. I'd be out that water in like two seconds. Yep. Nope. Yeah. Man, that wasn't particularly scary. Scary nukes type five, but it was a good video. I thought. Um, what did y'all think of it? Comment down below. What did y'all think? Was it scary? Was it not scary? 
And yeah, go check out uh, Jason's channel. We'll leave it down in there in the description for you. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.